it so this uh, video is just the continuation of uh, the previous video that I uploaded no? uh, about bearing capacity no? so we're going to consider uh, how uh, the bearing capacity will be affected uh, if we're going to consider the location of the groundwater table relative to the footing no? so let's start no? so in so in considering the location of the groundwater table in computing the uh, bearing capacity of soil no? so factors that will be affected are uh, the overburden pressure q and uh, which gamma are we going to use no? so we need to remember two things uh, when uh, computing your q and determining your gamma so first your q should be the overburden pressure at the bottom of your footing or at the base of your footing and your gamma should be the unit weight below the bottom of your footing so let's look at the following situation first if your groundwater table is located above your footing no so we're going to compute your q no? so at the bottom of your footing at the base of your footing as gamma no multiplied by df minus d no kasi uh, the groundwater table is located d at the d distance above uh, your footing no so q multiplied by df minus d plus gamma prime multiplied by d no so you have to remember that your q here is the effective uh, overburden pressure and the gamma that you're going to use dahil uh, saturated na yung ilalim ng footing mo should be gamma prime which is also equal to the gamma saturated minus gamma of water next situation no? uh, if your groundwater table is located right at the base of your footing no? uh, same situation pa rin, no? your gamma still gamma prime because uh, below the footing no your soil is still saturated no but the difference is your q is will become gamma df why because no uh, overburden pressure pa rin at the base of your footing and the soil above your footing is not saturated next next if your uh, groundwater table naman is located below your uh, footing no at a distance d no so uh, it will be separated into uh, three different situation no so first of course if d is equal to zero if d is equal to zero no uh, you know na no? so we all know na kapag d is equal to zero meaning yung groundwater table mo right at the base of the footing so your if d is equal to zero your gamma will become gamma prime and of course pag bumaba yan no bababa yan until a certain point no so it will reach uh, depth which is equal to which is b no uh, kapag ang depth niyan no reach uh, the same length of the footing no so somewhat the effect of the groundwater table will become uh, negligible so your gamma will just become gamma no pero if your d is less than your the base of the footing no 
we need that to get the average no so we need to get the average unit weight no? gamma average no so how no uh, we can just try uh, using linear regression no so d and your gamma if d is equal to 0 of course no if d is equal to 0 your gamma is gamma prime no so if d is equal to your b no oh, so your gamma will become gamma no so let's uh, let's say this will become gamma is equal to no c1 plus c2 no multiplied by d okay no so if d is equal to 0 no if d is equal to 0 no your gamma will become gamma prime so therefore uh, d is equal to 0 no we cancel that c1 will become gamma prime no if d is equal to b no uh, this will become gamma no gamma is equal to gamma prime gamma is equal to oops let's exit this one gamma will be equal to gamma prime c1 plus c2 b okay so therefore this will become no c no. your c2 will now become no, so your c2 no, so your c2 no, will be derived as no so gamma minus gamma prime over b Okay, so now your gamma will now become huh? no? gamma average. No? So your gamma average will now become no. So gamma prime plus. So let's rewrite it somewhere. No? So gamma, your gamma average now, gamma average will become <coughs> gamma average will become uh, gamma prime plus. No? Uh, gamma minus gamma prime over b multiplied by d okay so that will be your uh, formula the derived formula for uh, gamma average or you can just refer to this one <laughs> no uh, I think they are just the same okay so let's solve a problem no so this is just the same problem uh, as the one discussed in the previous video but I decided to uh, somewhat separate uh, separate each principles no because uh, in order for us to learn it one at the time no so a square footing is 1.5 meter by 1.5 meter in plan uh, the soil supporting the foundation has a friction angle of phi is equal to 20 degrees and a cohesion of c is equal to 15 kilopascal the unit weight of soil gamma is equal to 17.8 kilonewton per meter cube 
assume that the depth of the footing is 1 meter uh, and general shear failure occurs in soil okay if the groundwater table is located 1 meter below the depth the bottom of the footing uh, so determine the, uh, the just determine the uh, ultimate bearing capacity assuming that gamma sat is equal to 19 kilonewton per meter cube okay so uh, uh, it below the bottom of the footing so it falls at situation c but uh, d is equal to 1 meter 1 meter and uh, 1 meter is lower than the base of the footing which is, which is 1.5 so therefore we're going to use average gamma no? which is equal to 1 over 1.5 no? times gamma d 17.8 times uh, 1 plus no 19 minus 9.81 times 1.5 minus 1 okay so let's um, calculate that okay let's try to compute that I'm just going to get my calculator. Okay, so 1 over 1.5, 17.8 times 1 plus 19 minus 9.81 times 1.5 minus 1. Oh, so your gamma average is equal to oh, 14.93 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay. So let's also try the formula that we derived earlier. So this will become 19 minus 9.81 plus 17.8 minus 19 minus 9.81 over B 1.5 multiplied by 1. Uh, so they are just the same okay and then your gamma df no so your q is equal to gamma df 17.8 multiplied by 1 meter no? which is still equal to 17.8 no so now we're going to compute for q alt no is equal to 1.3 c prime c prime and c plus q and q plus 0 0.4 gamma b and gamma okay so let's input now all the values that uh, we have no? so 1.3 no, multiplied by 15 multiplied by no? so we we also have the values uh, that we used before no so 1.3 times 15 times 17.69 hmm? so for general shear failure plus q and q 17.8 times 
7.44 plus 0 0.4 14.93 gamma b and gamma oh, so gamma 0 0.4 14.93 times 3.64 no? so q ult now will become 1.3 times 15 times 17.69 plus 17.8 times 7.44 plus 0 0.4 times 14.93 times 1.5 times 3.64 no? so this will become no? <laughs> Huh? So, this will become 509.99 kilopascal. Okay. Huh? So, as observed, no? uh, the, uh, the effect of the groundwater table, no? We can, we can see the we are able to see the effect of uh, your groundwater table. So the groundwater table reduces the uh, bearing capacity. So that's it for this video lecture. So we're go we're still going to continue uh, discussing bearing capacity on my next video, but uh, we're going to uh, we're going to this we're going to include. Uh, factor of safety and uh, the difference between the gross and the net allowable bearing capacity. Uh, so, if you have any questions, again, I'm going to reiterate. No, so leave your comments below. No, and or you can just follow me on uh, all my uh, social on not all no. Because I don't really usually uh, market my social media accounts, no. But of course, if if you make, you can just follow me. And, uh, that's it.